Hi and welcome to Kismet Rising. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you to all the lovely comments that I receive as well as all my subscribers. Thank you for your support and your loyalty. Uh, it's wonderful to have you join the Kismet Rising community. So I would like to do a pick a card reading with you today and we have five options here. We are using gypsy cards and the question we're asking is, um, well, very often I, I, I have comments on my channel which, where people are saying, well, you know, the cards uh, say that and they've been saying that with other readers as well, and but it's not actually happening. So what is really happening? And so the question we're ask, actually asking today is, well, the cards say that he, he or she is coming forward or that there will be love and there will be a relationship. But what actually is going to happen? What can we expect to actually happen in this scenario? So let me repeat that. The cards say that, or my psychic readings state that we will be together or that we are coming together. But what will actually happen? And having said that, I realize that we are doing card readings here. Uh, a lot of people are watching these readings. There aren't just five options that are out there. You know, you all don't fit into five categories. So this may not resonate for every one of you. And it's very easy. The probability of, um, well, it's very easy to, to go along to readings and keep choosing the option that you want, that you are drawn to, because you want it so badly. And you know, you, you want you to be with that person, you want to be with that person, but then, you know, you really, well, is that actually going to happen? So that is what we're actually going to find out here today. Today, this is a truth reading. This is not about, we are asking specifically for the helpers and the spirit guides that are assisting us today to not help us be drawn to the reading that is what we want, but rather what will be. So we're going to get uh, into it now and you have five options as, as I've said before and the options are one, two, three, four and five. So take a moment to choose the option that resonates with you and uh, then you can go down to the description box which is right below the video and uh, you'll see the timestamp there and then you can just scroll to your given timestamp. You may pause the video at this stage if you are unclear of which deck you'd like to, to choose. And I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. So for those of you who chose the first deck, are we going to ask the question, well, what is it that's actually going to happen? Yes, I know what I've heard from the psychic readers. I know what I've heard from the readings. I know what I feel, but what is actually going to happen? All right, so we can go ahead and start shuffling these cards for you and quickly um, make the choice. want to come. These cards are not the easiest to shuffle. They stick with one of, what, with each other. But I feel what I need to choose. Um, So we're just going to leave that here in case we need any more. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that this person is what they're actually going to be doing. They, they're going to be watching you. They are consistent about that. They are paying attention to you and they are probably watching from a distance here. 
um, they are probably watching over the internet or through social media or they may even be parking outside your house and watching you. Um, they may be doing something like this. They may be seeking uh, consultants to, or they may intuit or, be, or reach into their intuition to kind of feel what they feel about you, to discern what is actually going on with you. Or they may actually be reaching out to psychics and, you know, having readings being done or, or yeah, or just basically finding, tapping into the intuition, tapping to another world, uh, other worlds to be able to figure out what is actually going on with you. So this person is going to be watching you. I feel that then they'll be waiting. They'll be thinking and waiting and simply just standing by and hoping that something will happen between you. So as far as these three cards are concerned, I don't see them taking an action towards you. Here is an action being taken, but it's more to satisfy their curiosity to um, which they are committed to. They are consistent about that. And um, here I feel like they hoping and wishing and waiting and unsure, but still harboring a, a love, a hope. And here I feel that they might, it's like they, you know, it's, it's like they kind of, wanting to get closer to you but the way in which they go about it is uh in a, in a well i don't want to use the word dishonest because i don't feel that this person uh is actually being dishonest but uh the action may may seem to be dishonest so it's as if they um they basically are um uh, finding a way stealing their way towards you they're not actually going to take an action that's direct they're not going to take an action which they they may try to initiate bumping into the street with you or um they may they may try to initiate uh, bumping into you on the street or they may uh pass by where you work or where you study or pass by your house and and peep at you or try to try to see try to create scenarios where they could potentially see you from a distance or or bump into you or they may um create ways in which they could interact with you so they may set up a scenario in which they could interact with you so maybe they will send you an email offering you something and uh they they will actually what i'm trying to say with this is that they're not going to be clear and upfront with regard to what they feel they obviously have a, a huge interest in you and i see that here um they and, and they're waiting and they're hoping they're trying to figure out what you think about them and what you how you see them and they're consistently doing so and they are you know i feel that they're also watching you from 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 there and so they have been watching you it feels like this has been going on for a while but it doesn't feel like it's going to change because this person's not coming forth to be and honestly saying well you know this is what i want to have with you and here um yeah i don't see that they that they're actually doing anything i feel that they're going to simply um yeah, I feel that they're simply going to hope and dream and maybe pray uh, or seek some guidance. They may seek some guidance about it. They may ask somebody for some help as to what they should do with regard to you. They may talk to somebody about it. They may talk to somebody who they consider to be wiser or more intelligent or has more experience in this regard. And they may, they may access that kind of information um, or they may simply pray. They may pray that you they will come together with you, but it feels like they they are they either shy or they simply not certain about how you feel about them. They're afraid of rejection, or they just like to play this game, this cat and mouse game, where they kind of appear and then disappear and then watch you from a distance. And they like knowing that you're there. They're interested in having you in their lives, but they are not making any step to come forward to actually be with you. And this is very clear in these cards that we have here. There's nothing here that says that they're moving towards you. Or here there's something that says they're moving towards you, but not in an honest way. So they may create scenarios where they could bump into you or be with you. But uh, I don't see that they're actually going to come. F they, well, they're not going to come forward. It, this may be okay. Maybe this is what you're expecting or hoping that you will bump into them or you will come into contact with them or they that they are making some effort to to do something even if it's not outright and 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 direct yeah but they are not this per, don't expect this person to come forth and just say well you know i would like to go on a date with you or i'd like to see you or i think we should 
um, be in a relationship with each other or we should give it a try because this person's not going to do that okay so for those of you who are waiting for that to happen it's not actually going to happen yes they're interested they're curious they try to satisfy their curiosity using some type of means and they they take some kind of action but it's not a direct action in which you are they want they don't want you to know how they feel they're afraid to let you know how they feel because i think they're afraid that they will be rejected or they've been waiting for too long or they've created a fantasy out of you and they're not going to burst that bubble they're too afraid to burst that bubble so that is the reading uh for you who uh those of you who choose who chose this deck uh, that is the first deck here. And uh, yeah, let me know if, if something does actually happen between you guys. Do let me know. So for those of you who've chosen uh, this deck here, it's the deck number two. We're asking the question, what is it that he or she is actually going to do? What action is he or she actually going to take towards you? Yeah, the cards tell me or the readers tell me that uh, they feel something for me but what are they actually going to do these cards in reversals by the way just in case you're curious and these are not you know they're not tarot cards I read tarot cards in reversals there are people and other readers who do read these cards reversed I don't um, for me the there are I, 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 I clairvoyantly intuit the meaning of these cards um, and if they are negative or positive yeah it doesn't matter if they turn up reversed or not yeah we're looking at somebody who has the desire for you they have a desire to come forth they desire um, a new beginning here with you in some rare cases they may even desire to have a child with you okay but in most cases they desire a, a new beginning with you and they want to come forth but they are plagued by other instances in their lives okay but I do feel that they will initiate something uh, which they may trip up as they try to come towards you. So they may be trying to, they may desire you so intensely and they, they, they want to do something to be with you. But it doesn't, it, um, it, 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 they kind of lose their perspective in that process. And so what happens is that they can't really ground themselves and so they take action that is not uh, grounded they may it's, it might be like they really infatuated with you or something like this and they don't know how to behave around you and I feel that the action that they take towards you doesn't um, it's not clear to you that they want to be with you in fact you may wonder why they behave why they're behaving so oddly or what is it that they really want or they may do something towards you that is unpleasant so as I was saying here uh, this person has the desire to be with you and uh, they may want to take some kind of action towards you but I feel they'll trip up in the process and uh, they it seems as if they don't know how to behave around you they would like a new beginning with you and it seems like they would like some kind of coming together or some kind of commitment in fact in some cases they may actually want to have a baby with you they may want to have a family with you they may want to actually be married to you but this is very a few cases okay it's not going to be every single one of you so you know your situation you know if you actually have a crush on this person you have never spoken to this person and you think that that person is checking you out they are not wanting necessarily to have a marriage with you and have a baby with you or maybe they fantasize about it but it's not going to happen as it's not necessarily going to happen in that in that in that order this is uh, this is going to apply to people who have been in a situation with each other where they are um, there is there are these intense feelings and there it is going to be there is going to be something here that that comes to be to bear okay so what I'm trying to say here is that uh, they desire you for sure they are going to take some action towards you to begin to have a new beginning but I feel that this action is going to be misinterpreted or misconstrued by you you may believe that they've tried to harm you or not harm you but they've hurt your feelings in some way but actually what they're trying to do is just come closer to you and have a new beginning but the way in which they do it is so unintelligible to you that you are 
think it's um, yeah you you see it as as being unpleasant okay but I do feel that um, they are moving towards you in some kind of way however uh, for a new beginning and perhaps for a, a, a kind of commitment they trying to maybe they're moving towards a commitment towards you and I, I do believe that they will take some action towards you here um, the, the the last card here shows me that they will be very clear about it and they may even come across as being a bit cold and a bit detached when they when they uh, when they actually do come across to you and you may as I said misconstrue what their intentions are but you know just be aware of this and be uh, just be uh, just recognize that this person has uh, difficulties coming to to you they are afraid of it they are tripping over themselves they are almost uh, so they almost like shoot themselves in the foot. They almost sabotage their own attempts to be with you and to create this this union with you. So um, expect there to be some, expect it not to be clear cut and expect there to be some difficulties in the process, you know, of having this new beginning. Uh, but there is this intention here. And I do believe that uh, they'll be a bit cold and clear cut and dry when they come towards you, but they will be sincere. And they will uh, be honest and so I think that that is uh, they will be honestly offering their commitment and honestly offering a relationship which is a long-term relationship to you where there is a new beginning of that and I think that this is quite um, significant they on some cases it might also be that your the person that you're thinking about has had some kind of misfortune in their lives and that they do desire you but they can't come to you right now because they're waiting for a, a, new, a cycle to end in their lives before they can actually come forth and begin something new with you but they certainly have that intention and this is where they're headed to it's just that they have to wait until this is passed in their life in other uh, instances it might be that um simply by desiring you they've become a little bit obsessed with you and they they're unable to simply uh, detach themselves from their obsession and uh and 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 begin in, and and start something new but something's going to happen which will make them kind of they stop that it'll make them come to a point where they cannot continue doing that and they will in fact uh, initiate a new beginning year so um i want to say that for those of you who've chosen uh this deck here you you know you are the, uh, the lucky ones this person is this deck here yeah you are, you are the lucky ones this person is actually coming towards you it just means it might take a bit of time and there may be some difficulties in the meantime but you can expect them to offer you something that's sincere honest with integrity and uh, a long-term uh, commitment okay so uh, that's it for those of you who've chosen the second deck all right, so for those of you who've chosen uh, this deck here, all right, the question we're asking once again is, what is it that they're actually going to do? What action are they actually going to take towards you? The cards say they're coming forth. The cards say that they love me. The cards say that we're going to be in union soon. The cards say that we're going to be married soon. But what actually is going to happen with us? All right, so I'm just going to start shuffling these cards. Ah, oh, these cards are a dream to shuffle. Okay, there we are. Oops. Okay, I'm just going to take a couple more cards here. So this is another positive reading, although I do believe the way in which they will uh, go about it is uh, not uh, necessarily positive in the beginning. So this person is, um, they intend to come forth and for them, the, uh, the financial aspect is really important. So they want to be sure that they have something to offer you when they come forth. They're not just going to come forth and go out with you on a date you know, or, or marry you or um, ask, you know, you for your hand or just uh, offer you anything at all. They're going to make sure that they have something uh, which is of value that they can offer you before they come forward. 
And I do believe that they will do so uh, in the way in which they will do it will not necessarily be so straightforward at first. So they may be watching you. They may be um, trying to, they, they're doing something behind your back, which you don't really know. So, you know, you may wonder why isn't this person coming forward or why isn't this happening? Why isn't they, why are they taking this thing to the next level? Well, they are taking it to the next level. It's just that you can't see it because what they, what they think is more important here is creating a fortune is uh, being in a, in, in a position where they can have something to offer you. For them, money is really important. And I feel that um, they're waiting for a moment where they can you know, make a deal or uh, come into a new job with a high uh, salary or be in a situation where they have something of value, like a treasure. And once they have that, that's when they're going to send you a message. That's when you're going to hear of it. And you can hear of the of the of the uh, the wealth that they've coming to, or the good fortune rather that they've coming to. It doesn't have to be money. It could be that they're just waiting to come into a better space in their lives. They may be waiting to finish a degree. They may be waiting to uh, change jobs. They may be waiting to move into a new home where they're going to be settled, where they have a better quality of life. You know, and when they have that, this is when I believe that they will be. Uh, more consistent in your lives and where they will uh, come into your lives and they'll be honest with you and they will be very clear about what they want and they will be offering you a consist consistent rapport so it might be that you know you will have a, uh, a relationship that will be where you'll be uh, you're not necessarily in a in a in a, in a long-term relationship uh, but it doesn't mean that you're not but it it's like they offer you something, but on a consistent basis, like you could be friends, like there's regular communication and there's regular, uh, they're there for you. They're there for you and they want you to know that uh, they are there for you. Uh, they're offering you uh, a, a something stable. They're offering you stability. They're offering you something like they're offering you uh, themselves as a part, a stable part of your life. You know, they, they are offering you themselves in this way where they are saying, well, this is who I am and this is what I have to offer. Uh, but they're not going to do it until they have this. Yeah, They're not going to do it until they've managed to get what they need uh, through whichever means they will get it in order to be able to have something to offer you. And when they have something to offer you, then I believe they, well, when they believe they have something to offer you, okay, this is when they will be consistent in in your life. And this is something that they're planning. This is something actually that's underway already. They're already busy setting up something. So in some cases, it might be that you know, they want to buy a home and uh, they're waiting to for that to go through so that they can offer you a home. Or it might be that they want to buy you a ring, for instance. Uh, uh, and although I don't really see that here, but it could be in the situation that they, they're waiting for the money, to save the money, to be able to, uh, or come into that money for through whichever means, in order to be able to, to buy your ring and then they'll be able to offer you something. But they definitely want to be... Uh, they would definitely want to communicate with you and they definitely want to be a consistent influence in your life or they want to be a part of your life on 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 a consistent basis um they want to be there in in a in a format or in a way that you know that they are they are part of your life okay and i'm not sure that this person's going to come forth and necessarily offer marriage or something like that they could be that could be the case but they definitely want to be a part of your life you know uh and they are committed to that and they're working towards that at this moment. So this is the way I read these cards. Um, there could be, some people may read these cards as saying that this person is just lying and they're not going to come forth and they're just messing around. They may send you messages, but they're more interested in money and their career, etc. And they're going to be cold towards you. And that's going to be consistently so. But I don't read it, I don't read it like, the, uh, like that. That's not the feeling I'm getting. Yeah, when I put down this card, I had such a warm feeling inside of me and I never have that when I put down this card usually. So uh, I just feel that this person is really trying to do whatever they need to do in order to be with you uh, in the long term. So uh, that's it for those of you who've chosen this deck here. And I hope you enjoyed your reading and I'm just moving on to the next one. So this is the next one here. So once again, for those of you who've chosen the fourth deck, which is uh, this one, what action are they going to take towards you? Or what is really going to happen 
uh, between you. The cards say that we're going to be together. The cards suggest that we will come together. Or the cards suggest that they're coming towards me. But what actually are they going to do? What actually? What is actually going to happen between us? So let's see what what the cards say. All right. Okay, so um, in these cards, I feel that um, I, okay, I'm going to read like the cards, like some of these cards are positive here, okay? And one one reader or may, a reader may read it as there's a young person who's looking at you and interested in you. They're going to come forth. They're going to give you a gift. They're going to be there for you when you need them, when you're having difficulties and, uh, and uh, yeah. And uh, they're going to make you feel young and beautiful and make you feel innocent and bring something beautiful in your life. And then something's going to cut away or something's going to transform or then there's going to be an ending of that. But the way that I'm feeling these cards and the way I actually uh, see it uh, is that uh, I always go with what feeling I get with the cards. I never read the cards directly like that. So... Um, I go with, you know, what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling because that's how I work. I work clairvoyantly and clairaudiently. Uh, but um, what I'm hearing here is that there's this person who presents a gift in your life, who's actually somebody who you think is a gift, but uh, and they, but they have a manner of, of behaving with you, which is actually, uh, it can be a bit immature or they just not as emotionally um, mature as you are, or they may lack certain emotional um kind of nuances you know and they they might have come into your life as a gift and they may have even offered you gifts and you may be at first quite happy to be with them but then this situation is making you sick it's making you tired make it's making you sick it's detracting you from your life it's it's poisoning your life it's as if the situation is come in and it's simply um taking away your vitality it's eating away at your chi you know it's eating away at your your life force and so it's the way in which you can revive yourself again here is actually to cut away the situation and i feel that this person's going to cut you they going to maybe 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 they've cut you away already, or maybe they, they will cut you away, or maybe they'll end the relationship in a fairly abrupt manner. But um, what I'm hearing here is that, the oh, sorry, before I tell you that, I just want to say that in some cases, they may have come across as being interested in you, and may have charmed you, and may have given you some gifts, and maybe have made you feel like really good about yourself. But then what they did is that they uh, they they abandoned you when you needed them. Okay, and you needed to start off all anew, and now uh, it has ended between you two. Okay, so that is one aspect. Another thing is that they may actually, um, they may actually, you may decide to cut them away in order to renew yourself and to be able to regain your vitality and your well being. What I feel here is that there is a chance that this person uh, will, I want to show it to you like this. It's this this person who has, who showed a lot of promise, okay? This person showed a lot of promise and made you really excited and you you were really charmed by this person but then here we have this you know and this is something where this person's caused you harm they've caused you illness this relationship has brought illness into your life it might have been not that they've done anything specifically to harm you but that this relationship whatever the dynamic is uh perhaps it's just energetic or perhaps they, they, you don't have a good relationship with each other or, or something like this, but it's caused you ill health. And, you know, 
And you need to renew yourself from the situation. You need to actually work through that and begin to smell the roses again. Remember who you were. Remember the innocence that you had. Remember the beauty that you are. Remember your core values. And actually um, just simply let go of the situation. Okay, so uh, that's not the, the nicest uh, message to have to hear. And I'm sorry that your reading is like that. But that is the message that I'm getting for you. And so, um, yeah, I feel that if you don't cut it away, that they will. So I don't feel that there will be something that will result from this. I feel that the best that has happened, it has happened already. It's in the past and that um, it's not moving in anywhere forward. And if it is, it's going to be a kind of abrupt ending. All right. So um, like I also see, let me before I go, uh, I also see that this is this is somebody where, which you've met and you've you've placed so much hope in, in, in that relationship or in this person to the point that it's made you sick. It's made you obsessed. It's made you require medical attention, literally. And uh, then and but at the same time, it's given you a sense of yourself that you haven't actually understood before or that you've come to a new sense of who you are. You might have uh, developed psychic insights. You might have uh, had an intuitive kind of a telepathic relationship with them and you have this these psychic insights that you've developed, uh, you've come to as a result of that. And um, you've just really been renewed as a result of this. This has really been a gift, which you have actually uh, gained from. And so, but, but you know, there is a, something that needs to be ended here. There is something that needs to kind of be for you to let go of it. Okay. So, um, I hope that was helpful for you in some level. And I hope that there is, you know, these messages resonated with you and, uh, yeah. And good luck in your situation. And thank you for coming by and um, for subscribing and liking and commenting and all of those things. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go on to the deck number five here. And we're asking the question, I just want to lay it down for a moment. So the question we're asking today is, well, I've been led to think by psychics and by readings that my that this this thing is going to lead somewhere, that uh, he or she is coming towards me, that we're going to be in union soon, that we're going to be in a relationship, that we're going to be married. But is that actually going to happen? Show me what's actually going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards. And that's the question we're asking today. Please show us what exactly is going to happen in this relationship. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen uh, this deck, which is the last deck here, what I there's so many versions of this um, that I want to be uh, that I want to say to you. But one of the ones that are what is what is strong for me is that this is probably there are some people watching this where uh, they are the father uh, they they are inquiring about the father of their child. They have children with this person. And they inquiring of whether this person's going to actually do the right thing by their child, and whether there's going to they're going to come together. So I feel this is the option that uh, is is for those people who are waiting to be reunited with uh, some of their uh, the, the maybe the father or the mother of their their child. And this is obviously not going to resonate for everyone, but. I want to say for those of you who are who are in that situation, uh, the person that you're asking about is actually going to be there and they're going to do the right thing by your child. And their focus is the child. Their focus is this this baby, this child, and they are going to actually do something uh, and they're going to be consistent about their support and they're going to be a, a person who's standing by you and doing the right thing by you. Okay, And I feel that from this, love is going to develop. 
this love is going to develop and it's going to be it's like a closeness that begins between you two it's like you come together and you warmer with each other and there's like this fuzzy feeling and softer and it's not just the responsibilities it's not just the the the, the things that need to be taken care of but also this other feeling so the you know i feel it like it's almost like a new love that's developing here. Like it's this love comes that kind of comes out from another space. So it's not like an old love is being renewed, but more like this new love is coming into being between you two, and is going to yield uh, some luck and some something. It's going to yield some benefits. Okay, and yeah, this is the card of some money, which basically talks about a little bit of money coming into being, but it also talks about uh, this love bringing um, bringing little jewels, so to say, or bringing uh, some kind of lightness, or bringing some kind of gift, bringing some kind of happiness um, into your lives. It's a little gift, you know. It's like a little gift from the universe. And you are appreciating this, and this is something to be to that you can really enjoy. So, for those of you who are not in a situation with uh, the baby daddy or the baby mummy, or uh, however you say that, uh, well, if, for those of you who don't have kids, all right, here's a situation where this person, it, the action that they're going to take towards you is they're going to begin something new with you, and it's going to be a consistent and a clear and. Uh, a, a direct path that they're going to take towards you. They're not going to be back and forth. They're not going to be playing games. They're going to be very clear with you. They're going to be very direct. And here is, there is love in this. Yeah, there is love. And there is, um, this is actually the only reading that yields the love card uh, from the these five that we've chosen. And there is real love here. And there is a chance to develop this love. And from this, there will be benefit. And from this, there will be simple things in life to be enjoyed, but things which have greater value than one realizes, or it has great value in the moment in which you receive it. All right. So I think that is, um, that is actually, yeah, that is for those of you who are waiting on somebody or wanting to hear about somebody and just curious about what action they're going to take towards you. Yeah, you know, in some situations, this could also be about, uh, you know, for those people waiting for alimony to be paid uh, for their child, from the father of the child or from the mother of the child. And, uh, you know, you're going to have a successful, a successful court case here. And this is also going to bring you closer together. And there is going to be a love that's renewed here in that scenario. I want to also say that in both scenarios, in all scenarios here, this applies to every everyone who has chosen this uh, deck here. Uh, the love is consistent. And the love is there. It's not changing. It's not uh, wavering. The love is consistent and it's it's beautiful. Okay? And it's something that can be appreciated and can really be enjoyed. And the advice here is not to ask for too much but simply to enjoy the love that you have, because that in itself is the gift. So, yeah, I think that was actually the message that I needed to give you in this in this particular deck. So um, I'm wishing you all very well, and thank you very much for coming by. And I hope that these messages um, make sense to you and that they help you in some aspect in your lives. And I just okay, say, so much love to you all. And uh, I hope that these uh, readings resonated with you. And thank you all again for subscribing and commenting and for liking the videos. That's so wonderful of you. And I'm so blown away by some of your absolutely warm, wonderful comments. So thank you very much for that. And I'm wishing you uh, a wonderful uh, day uh, ahead and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.